Hello everybody and welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. Ten minutes at a time. Oh yeah people, I bet you wasn't expecting to hear from me today, was you? Yeah, we got back from Pittsburgh. How many people remember what happened today? Today was my son's graduation day. Pittsburgh State University. Yeah, baby, go Wesley. He's the man. He graduated college today and just did awesome. Sure proud of that kid. But anyway, we got home and uh, I kind of did some mess around with this yesterday. I had this thing mounted and I just decided to go ahead and use this little one on uh, the main. Uh, for the main. I'll probably put this one in by the back where I've got more room. I'm pretty tight for space and I need to get us put this on there in a servo and it's all going to fit on this board and to fit in that hole I cut. And I'd just rather keep it neat, clean, neat and compact and uh, I can put this this one in the back for the backbone base. So I went ahead and mounted my little one of my little valves on there. I got two of these little ones. I wish I had one more, to tell you the truth. You probably order one from Eurokit. I know they sell them. I checked on them, but I already got that one. We're good to go. Sammy, what are you digging in? It's been raining outside. Sammy's been out there. She's soaked. <laughs> funny. Sammy! She's soaking wet. Look at that face. She's been out there playing in the rain. <laughs> that dog's a trip. But anyway, I got that taken care of. Alright, and uh, I got my pump off rigged up. I cut off them ends a little bit and threaded them and tapped them. Put these little Festo ends on my big old pump. And I'm going to use this battery, 22 milliamp or 2200 milliamp, 11 volts, 3 cell, 11.2 volts, whatever that is. But that's the one I'm going to use to run it. I got it all rigged. All I got to do is plug it in. I got a place for this on that bulkhead. And I'm going to get all this hooked up. And I'm going to try and do that in the middle of cooking tomorrow. Because tomorrow, people, I got my son's coming home from Pittsburgh. And we got all, you know, because all our family couldn't go clear to Pittsburgh to see him graduate. So we're having a little shindig here at the house for him. And I'm going to whoop up a meal that you cannot buy anywhere in the country. Probably anywhere in the world. I'm a good cook, people. Oh, yeah. Bet you never thought that about me, did you? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can mix up, whoop up a plate of grub. <laughs> I can cook a brisket that you don't even need a knife for, man. I mean, I'm serious. My beans, oh, I'm whooping up some beans tomorrow. And uh, some of my taters, I'll tell you what, what do you guys think? You want some of my recipes? Y'all want to whoop up some some good grub? Give me a thumbs up if you want some recipes. I'll throw you all some recipes in the morning when I get started. Let me know. I'll give you some. I'll show you how to make my beans. I make the best beans you'll ever eat. I'm serious about tater salad. It's the bomb, man. You know, I go to other places and I see their tater salad and I think, man, that looks good. And uh, I'm so disappointed. Like, man, don't anyone know how to make potato salad like my mom used to? <laughs> That's where I learned it. But anyway, I whipped me up a Wesson oil bottle. That's what I'm going to use for my hydraulic fluid. I put me a little Festo tip on the end of it so I can hook up my lines, turn it upside down. Because I'm going to, when I'm done with this, people, I'm not going to have any air bubbles. I got it all figured out. And uh, I got a syringe. Got it at the grocery store, as a matter of fact. I'm going to fill some of these lines with, and I'm going to end up without no air bubbles. And this is going to work awesome. I know it is. And I'm going to try and get to do that while uh, the brisket's cooking tomorrow. Because uh, they're all coming over for dinner about 5 o'clock. So I'll have lots of time to play on that, work on this a little bit. So, that's about all I got for you tonight. I'm going to 
go ahead and get this mounted in there maybe. Kind of tired. It was a long trip. Drove all the way there, all the way through a big old long graduation. Then we kind of all went and ate lunch with some of his friends, had a little wing ding, and then drove home. <laughs> so I'm tired. Tomorrow I got some cooking to do. Oh yeah, be one bob to whoop it up. You know what? See, now I ended up having to use this littler valve because that other one actually was opposite of this. When you pushed it down, it came on. And so I had to put my little one back there, but it, it should be fine. Uh, but we will see. We will see. It's ready to hook up. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to get the shop a little cleaned up tonight. And, uh, get ready to go. Man, that was a very long video. That was only four minutes. I'm going to sit here and clean up the shop a little bit. And, uh, chill tonight. And, uh, whoop up a plate of grub tomorrow. Feast fit for kings. You know it, man. You know it. All my cooking people, I invented my own recipes, believe it or not. A lot of them I did. My, my potato salad is my mother's recipe. I gotta give her credit for that. But uh, as far as everything else goes, I invented it all. And it is some good stuff. Festos. See, I've got my whole box of Festo stuff. That's where all my Festo stuff goes. The valve. I'm fit in that. Put that nice door right there. Allen wrenches go there. Anything that has a plier movement. Second big drawer. Square goes up top. I hope you're watching this, Bill. Hey, another thing. Oh, Bill is uh, building a bobcat. Not Bill from Canada. This is another Bill I got an email from today. And he wanted to know how he should mount his wings. Okay, do not use magnets. What you want to do is run a piece of tube all the way through your fuselage, okay? A aluminum tube with uh, a sleeve, you know? And on the outside of your sleeve, about halfway into your wings, but all you need to take that aluminum too. But put a piece of hardwood on the bottom side of your tube and countersink an Allen bolt in there to where it goes through your sleeve and your tube all the way through it, but not the top of the wing. And then countersink for the head of your Allen bolt. So that'll go underneath the surface of your wing, you know, when you tighten it up. And it'll be nice and fluffed. But uh, I would do that to mount your wings. All you need is a tube going all the way through your fuselage. Bam. And then, you know, right there about where the main spar goes. Then in the back, put some pins. Uh, like dowel rod, you know, to keep your wings straight. And uh, that seems to work the best. You know, you don't want to use magnets. I know there's not much of a side load, but, uh, you know, lots of things can happen, you know, when you're flying, and you don't want to overbuild. I'm learning that. I learned a lot of that, especially on that little bomber. You don't want to overbuild. If you try and make things bulletproof, something's just going to break somewhere else, you know. Uh, things break when they, they're under loads sad but true so you don't want to overbuild it but we're about out of time people give me a thumbs up if you want the cooking lesson tomorrow and thumbs down if you just want to stick to the bomber stuff let me know but we'll see you tomorrow people same bob time same bob station this episode of bob tv was broadcasted in philovision